creating a new plant. Now that you've seen many of the different options for displaying and placing plants on the plan, you'll see how to use the plant tool to create a new plant definition. The process requires you to choose the symbol you'd like to use for the plant, add relevant data so that the symbol knows which plant it's representing, and optionally add your choice of 3D representation. Choose a 2D symbol. Click the site planning tool set. Click plant. Click plant tool preferences on the toolbar. Click definition. On the plant settings dialog, click the symbol selector. Under additional content, non-species specific, select ornamental.vwx and choose ornamental tree 02. The default plant definition named Ornamental Tree 02 is loaded and you can see the 2D plan graphic for the plant and a preview of the default 3D representation for this plant. Click Duplicate to create a new plant definition based on this generic plant. Click Insertion Options and change the following fields. Spread 7500, height 7500, spacing 7500. Add the plant data. Click Schedule. Click Get Plant Data. The Vectorworks plant database will load. Close this window and click Select Plant Data from the dialog box. The plant database will load. Under plant list, select trees. The list of trees from the database is loaded. In the name box, type Acer to take you directly to the Acers in the list. Scroll through the list and locate Acer Platinoides Crimson King, clicking on its name to highlight it. The data for this plant are displayed in the pane on the right of the dialog box. Review the information and then click OK. The plant data have replaced some of the generic information that was present in the generic plant. You can add information here to show on your plant schedule. Only add information if you need to show it at a later date. Plant tag ID A Crim. This can be any code you prefer, but it must be unique. Scheduled size, 10 litres. This can be any text to describe the proposed purchase size. Schedule comments, water well until established. Highlight either the Latin name or the common name, whichever is most appropriate in your geography, and copy it using Ctrl plus C on Windows or Command plus C on a Macintosh. Move the cursor onto the plant symbol name field. Click and drag the cursor to highlight the current contents and then press Ctrl V on Windows or Command V on Macintosh to paste the plant's Latin name or common name into the field. This is the name by which the symbol will be known on your resource browser. Set default outline and shadow effects. Click Render. Below Plant Shadows in Plan View, click Use Document Preferences. By default, this plant will respond to whatever document preferences you've set in whichever project you use this plant. Review the plant data. Click on Plant Data. The data you attached earlier from the plant database is displayed. Select Floral Colour. Change the data to Bright Yellow. Click OK. The base definition of the plant has been set and the above settings have become the default for each time this plant is used. The remaining tabs on the left of the dialog enable changes to the default settings as you'll see in a moment. Click OK. Click Single Plant Placement Mode on the toolbar. Click once on the top right corner of the plot at the front of the house. The plant is placed. 
Press X to return to the selection tool. Override insertion options and set tag options. Now we'll look at how the default settings can be overridden whenever this plant is placed. With the plant selected, click Plant Settings on the Object Info palette. Click Size. Notice the default height, spread and spacing fields are displayed. Each value can be customised so that each instance of the plant can differ from the default if required. Click Annotation. Here you can further customise the plant annotation, adding lines to connect plants in a group and add a cross in the centre. Plants can also be rotated in groups or rotated along a path. They can also be scaled so that each plant appears a slightly different size. Leave the settings as they are. Click Render. You can change the render settings from the default also. Leave them as they are. Click Tag. Change the following fields, leaving all others unchanged. Display, right. Approach angle, zero degrees. Tag bubble, circle, quantity only. Tag top, Latin name. Tag center, none. Tag bottom, none. Enable tag shoulder line, do not check. These settings will create the same style of tags that have been used in the remainder of this design. The tag settings are not stored with the plant definition, rather they are set at the time of using the plant tool and it may be a good idea to set your favourite tag style within your template. Click Schedule. Here you can override any of the schedule settings that are stored within the plant definition. Click OK. The design no longer fits on the page. Don't worry, in section 4 you'll learn how to present plans at any scale on any sheet size. Look at the resource browser and click the Home button to ensure you're looking at the contents of the current file. Under Symbols, Plugin Objects, locate the Acer symbol. Edit the 3D plant. The 3D element of the plant can be made from model geometry or an image prop, but you must have Renderworks to use image props. An image prop is the most efficient method and there are many library files of image props for planting. You can also make your own if you have an image editing application and the skills to remove the background from a plant photograph. Image props are flat images stuck onto two crossed 3D planes. They have a transparent mask around them so that their background is obscured and they cast the correct shadows when rendered. The following steps are dependent upon Renderworks being part of your licensed installation. If you don't have Renderworks, you can skip these steps and move to the following exercise. Change the view to left isometric. As the plants are hybrid, that is 2D and 3D objects, they're now displaying their 3D element. Click the selection tool and select the Acer on the drawing. On the object info palette, click Plant Settings. On the Plant Settings dialog, click Edit Plant Definition. Notice the 2D and 3D preview of the plant. Click Copy from Symbol. Click the Symbol Selector. Under 3D Components, Species Photorealistic Colour, select Photo IP Deciduous and Broadleaf A to AE.VWX. Then choose Acer Palmatum 4.0 IA. Click Use only the 3D component of the symbol. Click OK, click OK, and click OK again to return to the drawing area. Click the selection tool and click on a blank space on the drawing area to ensure nothing is selected. On the view bar, click fit to objects to centre your scene on the screen. Save your file before continuing with the next exercise.